Third step, extrusion. Flakes coming out of the washing process arrive for extrusion. The plastic will be transformed through a heating process. Flakes are once again sorted with a camera and a laser ray to separate other materials from the PET, like HDPE coming from caps. PVC coming from house care bottles, nylon or silicone coming from the ketchup soft caps for example. After these 10 starting steps, flakes are worked on a screw and heated above their melting point at 285 degrees Celsius. Recycled PET then forms liquid filaments looking like spaghetti, which will be cooled with cold water to get it back to a solid form. These filaments go through a rotating chopper to get cut into small pieces called pellets. Here, a line driver takes a sample to proceed to a quality test. Note that these pellets are not yet food grade. They can contain microscopic impurities and water. They need to be purified. It is the unique properties of PET when put at high temperature which enables the separation between plastic and impurities. This technique, called polycondensation, needs three conditions. Pellets need to stay 16 hours at 200 degrees and without oxygen. After this, pellets are ultra-dried and purified. They contain no other molecules than polyethylene terephthalate. They are now suitable for food grade contact. Several tests are made in a laboratory to be sure of this purity. Pellets are then transferred to silos. In this plant, 48,000 tonnes of pellets can be produced each year, approximately 130 tonnes per day. The plant has an efficiency rate of 75%, as we have to take out caps, labels, undesirable packaging and lots of humidity. Finally, pellets leave the plant in tankers to be transformed into preforms and bottles. <laughs>